Hi, in this video we are going to cover external storage class. Basically external storage class is useful when a single project is being developed by multiple developers. For example, there are two developers named A and B and probably B is in use of a particular function which is being defined by A. So probably A is currently not working on it and B probably wants it right now. So what happens is at the time of compilation using the extern keyword he can simply define and he can just declare any method like this like extern void write extern write extern is any particular method here and during the implementation he can call it. When you will compile this program in a different way means the linking should not be done here only the compilation I'm talking about. So when this compilation will take place at that particular time this will not give you any error because normally if you will define if you will not define any method and you will call it it will give you an error at the time of compilation. But since here we have declared the method using the extern keyword I can compile this program comfortably. But at the time of execution, when the object's files will be linked, at that particular time, I will have to reference all the object files, that is the support.c where this write extern method is defined. So here, I'll have to reference both the files, all right, both the object files. So what happens at the time of execution, this write extern, if this write extern method will not be found in this file, in this particular object file, then the control will find the control will come in the another file and then here this extern write extern method will be found and the execution will take place so let's see how to implement this extern storage class practically so now in this implementation of extern what we'll do first of all in the coding ground i have chosen the C compiler and here inside main.c I just de declared an extern method named message and in the body of main you can see like I have called the same method but when I will compile this particular method it is going to give me an error because I have not given any definition for this message so what I will have to do is I will have to add a new file by right clicking here on the root We'll say new file and let's rename that particular file as support.c so I'll here rename on by right clicking so it's support.c and here inside I can give the definition for the extern method as you can see here write extern that is the name of my method all right I guess I have given some another name here all right so we'll have to give a same name so let's name it message only all right and here I have given a message like message from extern method so what I'll have to do now there are a couple of files that is main.c and support.c and in support.c I have a method called message where I have passed a simple message which I'm calling in the another file called main.c so I'll just click on compile here and as you can see that's got compiled and when I will execute that you can see a clear message like message from extern method you can also do the compilation and execution using the commands like gcc and file name dot c and then you can execute it with the output file name dot out extension but here in coding ground the execution is quite simpler and you can see after the hello world i got the message message from extern method successfully so this is how you can also work with the extern storage class in C programming. 